Hi there, I'm Jordan and I'm here today to teach you a few basic tricks and techniques on installing wainscoting. Uh, wainscoting is definitely one of the more difficult uh, pieces of trim carpentry. Um, there's a lot of strange angles and uh, a lot of things that you really have to account for. Um, what we're doing today is we're going to focus strictly on doing um, just a stairwell because the stairwell that comes down there's a lot of strange angles and um, it can be very difficult to follow. Um, so what we're going to do is more or less just get right into it, jump right into the deep end and let's go. Before we break out any saws or nailers, we need to map out where our wainscoting is going to be placed. The first step is to mark where the top of your chair rail is going to sit. I've done mine at 32 inches off the floor, then just simply draw a level line at that point. The second step is to draw a level vertical line that starts from the baseboard's intersecting point. As you can see, I have already installed the baseboards using the same minor techniques that I'm about to show you. For the third step, you need to take a framing square to the same intersecting point and then draw yet another line. For step four, we need to square up on the line we just made so that it crosses over to the chair rail intersection point, as you can see here. Now, for the final step, we need to extend the chair rail line all the way down. To do this, we need to find the measurement from the top of the base to the top of the chair rail, and then we need to transfer it to the bottom of the stairs. Once this is complete, just grab a chalk line and snap it. Alright then, we're ready to install the chair rail. I've already taken the measurements, now I need to find the correct saw setting for this angle. First we take a T-bevel and line it up to this angle. Then we transfer it onto our trusty saw set protractor, being sure to use the double miter side to find our saw setting, which in this case is 21 and a half degrees. Then simply set our saw to exactly 21 and a half degrees and cut. Now it's time for the vertical pieces. We've already spaced and located our vertical pieces. Now all we need to do is find the proper saw setting. These are single miters, unlike the chair rail pieces we just did. It's basically the same process, only difference is we need to use the other side of our saw set protractor. So the saw set is double sided, and as you can see, we're using the single side. It gives us a reading of 43 and a quarter to set our saw to. One of the great things about this tool is it's capable of reading up to a quarter degree. This makes a huge difference when you're doing detail carpentry like this. I cannot stress enough that caulking is not and never will be the answer to poorly cut miters. If 
you take the time and do it right with the right tools, your work will last a lifetime. This video was brought to you by the new saw set. This double-sided stainless steel carpenter's protractor is a must-have in your tool belt. If you own a miter saw, then you need a saw set. It's durable, incredibly accurate, easy to read, and absolutely no math needed. Works especially great on crown molding as well as all of the trim projects. Stairs, railings, cabinets, floors, and basically anything that has a miter. Remember, measure twice, cut once, use the right tool for the job, and most important of all, have fun and love what you do. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, like our videos, and stay tuned for more how-tos.